Today we are going to speak about a chapter in my book, Letters of Fire, a book which will come in many editions by Feldham and others, a book which is really mystical insight into the Hebrew language. This is really the purpose of this book, to show the beauty of the Hebrew language and really in the back of the book, is written in Letters of Fire by Matthew Gleason explores the wondrous world of hidden meanings in the letters and verse of the Holy Tongue. This realm of mystical splendor, where even the very form of each letter has profound significance, is revealed here in a language and style that enables every reader to discover the astonishing insights of Kabbalah and the teaching of the sages. So the book is available at Amazon.com and my bikini and my site, glazersonbook.com or glazerson.com. So the chapter that we are going to speak about is a chapter, in fact, we wrote a whole book about, and this is really about repentance. Yeah, the importance of repentance. Now we are in the month of Elul. The man that uh, is the main idea, repenting, returning to God, Shuvah, returning, returning the hey, the part of the divine spirit in when which is the letter A. So there is a chapter in my book, The Way of Shuvah, and as I said, this book came out from Feldheim, was translated by Shlomo Ashri Fuchs, and edited by Mrs. Tabak. She wanted the source of every sentence, every single word, every word. So you have about 10 pages in the end about all the sources. So the title of the chapter, chapter 10, is The Way to Teshuvah, The Way to Repentance. One of the traits a person needs in order to achieve complete teshuva repentance is a sense of shame about his bad deeds. The book which is called the book of Svatemet, a very famous, he said, points out that the terms aboshet, aboshet in Hebrew is a shame, bayesh. Bullshit. So, uh, the same letter of Teshuvah. The feeling of shame is an outcome of fear, of heaven. The Talmud states that one of the fundamental traits of the Jewish people is bashfulness, the capacity to feel shame. They acquire this trait at Mount Sinai when they saw the great fire of God, presence. The Gemara said they are bashful and proof it cites the verse so that fear of him should be on your faces. Thus we see that there is an essential connection between fear of heaven and the capacity to feel ashamed. Who ever stands in awe of something feel shameful. The verse Yare Yudre Shalev he fears and yes 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 the verse Yare which means the Hebrew fears and the Hebrew word Yavos a shame. We have the same letter, Yud in common, interesting. The letter Yud is in both of them. And the remaining letters of those two words are respectively Aleph and Reish, like in the word Yireh, Yud, Reish, Aleph, Yud, Aleph and Reish. And in the word Hashem, Yivosh, is Bet Shin. The letter Bet Shin in Hashem follows with those of fear. In alphabetic order, amazing. So you see, what are the Hebrew letters? Unbelievable, so much behind. Even the order of the letters in the alphabet, if you follow my 
lectures, so you know my books, you can see lots of interesting phenomena in which letters after letter are connected. So in this case, definitely the shame and fear are connected because when a man has fear of God, he knows what is God, he knows that every sin he committed uh, caused if you hold we said yeah like wrong things and transgressing what God wants. So a man feels ashamed about it, yeah. Which is really one of the main character of the Jewish people. There are three which are Rebel Springs, Bajmanim, Rachmanim, Ashem, they are ashamed, and Rachmanim are merciful and Gumlo Hasadim, they are doing kindness. So, in one feels heaven, he can take the next step and be ashamed of his bad actions. And this really erases fear. Fear of heaven is a basis of Shiva, of returning. And if you have fear of heaven, fear of God, he realizes what his word and descendant learns properly about the meaning of sins and punishment. So definitely all this brings men to Shiva. Shiva is returning. And those letters, Shiva and Ira, as we saw, are following each other. That's our sin in bet in Shiva follows the elephant Rash in Ira in fear. He who fears God will be ashamed and will return Yashuv, the same letter Yashuv from his bad ways. Amazing, such important idea. In fact, it is interesting, it is famous really that Adam, after sinning, eating from the tree of knowledge, uh, when the Shabbos came in, our Rebbe Stelaz, he really did the Shuva, repented, and he, sung, he sang the song, which is famous, we say it on Shabbos, morning and evening, Mizmor Shir Leom HaShabbat. Mizmor Shir, song two for Sabbath. Tov Leodot Lashem is good to thank God or to confess to God. So Rabbi tell us that this is what Adam said after the entering of Shabbos. So explanation is when Shabbos came in and he felt the atmosphere of holiness, of sanctity, and then Automatically, he felt what the sin did to him right, in the mundane, in the secular. And this brought him to shame, to Boshet and Shuba. Amazing, exactly this is what we saw, that shame brings to Shuba repentance. Of paramount importance in bringing a person to repentance in his ability to contemplate the evil of his transgressions and recognize the great harm they cause to the soul. His heart will understand and he will return and he will be. be uh, will be healed. In fact, this is really the famous verse which says, his heart will understand. And then he, and he return and will be healed. So exactly this idea that we saw here, by understanding, contemplating what really what sins are da, or do, the damage they cause to men to the world, definitely will bring him to return. And also, as the King Solomon says, my heart so much wisdom. Yeah, so again, the wisdom, chokhmah, and so in Hebrew, so is re'eh, ira. Yeah, the same letter, because fear, ira, and re'ya, and look, or seeing, are connected because when a man lose, not only seeing is also to understand, like when Solomon said, my heart saw, what the heart sees, the eyes see, that he understood, yeah. 
And definitely this is what brings people to repentance. Yeah. Rishit Chochma, Yirat Hashem, then the real wisdom is fear of God, which is the basis of all them. Thus, note that the work, the Shem Ishmuel, very famous book, of the Soho Shavu, and he says that the word Ira, as I mentioned, yeah, fear and Riyah, and seeing are spelled with the same letters, fear of heaven, Ira, leads you want to think about this, this, and achieve clear seeing or perception of their significance. It's amazing. Also, it is something I point out, and it is famous that always in the beginning of the month Elul, the month of repentance, we read in the Torah the person of Re'e. Yeah, the person tells us Re'e. Look, Anochinet and Lifnachem Bocha Bekola, look, observe. I put in front of you evil and goodness, blessing and curse, good in life and death. It means that a man of the free choice, and the Torah started with the better, eh, hey, look, understand that you have the free choice of these two things. We can bring you blessing, blessing, keeping the Torah curse. Transgressing the Torah, the Shabbos, and so on. The process also works in reverse. When the contemplates, when somebody really contemplates and clearly sees its significance of one deed, this leads to fear of heaven, for fear of God is wisdom, as we mentioned, because the idea goes together. It means definitely looking what is going on in the world and looking and understanding there is a God creator and understanding that this God gave you a set of laws how to be able. We need to keep it. And for the other side, fear of God, when <laughs> I fear, he looks into the world in another outlook. The fact that the understanding grows out of fear of God is revealed in another part of verse. The principal letters, Bina, understanding, you know, when as we said, understanding is the main cause to Shuvah, the Babo Yavin, it's hard to understand. Yavin, Bina. Be nice, bet, yudin, and aleph. Understanding. So those letters, bet, and letter nun in bina, these are letters that follow immediately the letters of fear. Eima. In Hebrew, you have different kind of uh, fear. Eima and ira. You know, Rebbe explain us what is a fear. Eima is really strong. It's fear and ira. So eima, fear. Is letters before Bina, understanding, like before Aleph, after the Aleph, Mem, Aleph, Bet, and Mem, after it, Nun, Bina. Fear of heaven is strengthened when a person contemplates the wonders of the world, which testify to the powers of, the, of God, the Creator. Ram, the Rambam, Maimonides, states, that one who looks at creation with an open mind will come to recognize the existence of the Creator. It is not this of Abraham came to faith in God, just as our forefathers Abraham, as we said, by observing the phenomena of the sun, moon, and stars, he became aware of the one who created them. In fact, it is said that the world was created as it is with its particular essence of form in order to bring men to fear of heaven. The King Solomon, yeah, what he said in his book, God made the world so that mankind would fear him. I mean, the world was created in such a way that it will instill fear in men's heart. 
So the Malbim gives an interesting example of how contemplation of nature can help this develop fear of God. He points out that the waters of the oceans are higher than the land. The only thing preventing them from flooding the whole world is the fact that the earth is revolving on its axis. The slightest change in the rate of this revolution would cause the destruction of the entire world when power watches over the world to ensure its continued existence. The creator, blessed is it. So definitely the same thing. In fact, this Einstein also said he believes in such power, like a higher sublime power who looks after the world because as the stars, are going around and uh, <laughs> if one star will slightly move from its place, there's no world, they are exposed. So it says also the Malbim say, okay, he did not, and first he did not know much of Judaism. In his time was not like Harachim, was not really outreach movement to teach people about the Torah. But he said it believes and because of seeing this phenomena, you know, this is the <laughs> fear of heaven, yeah, how can, you know, if a man will think really, if the, if the sun will a little bit come near, the world will burn, if the moon, I mean, everything really is miracles that he works on the same laws that God gave him. So, clearly, the purpose of creation to instill fear of God in the heart of people, and this is why it was done. It is interesting that many great scientists, by looking deeply into the wonders of nature, came to recognize the existence of a creator. Among them was Albert Einstein, as we mentioned, yeah? The purpose of creation is to help men achieve fear of heaven. And this, by the way, there is a book of Einstein's life, it is called My World. And they really mentioned it. He writes clearly that uh, this awareness of this, the world and so on brings people to realize there is a creator. The purpose of creation is to help men achieve fear of God. According to the Chidush Arim, Chidush Arim, very famous, they are from the Guru, he says that interesting thing. He says that this fact is reflected in the word Bria. Bria in Hebrew is creation, which by slight change in the order of letters become Beira for the sake of fear. So the Torah and the story of the creation begin with the word Bereshit, Bara. In the beginning, God created. It's also Bereshit, the letters of the word can be also means Yere Boshe, fear and shame. The first two letters, Yere, fear and Boshe, fear. So exactly the same idea that the beginning, it means the beginning of everything, because Bereshit is really the name for Israel, you know, Bereshit, our Rabbi Selah, Bereshit, Bishvil Israel, Shenikir Rishit, for Israel we call Reshit. So this is important teaching, that the beginning, the basis of everything is fear and shame. So definitely the, the day best suited for repentance, the Shuva, is the Holy Shabbos. And this is exactly what the Kabbalah notes, that the letters of a Shabbat are the same letter like Shuva. Sh yeah? Shabbos implants in men's heart the basic attitude needs for complete repentance, faith in creator of the world and fear of him. The Kabbalistic rites, they really point out in the, and answer, there is another way to arrange the letters of Bereshit, the Zorm, to connect Zorm in few ways that you can build different ways from the Bereshit, Bereshit different permutation. So Bereshit also Yerei Shabbat, fear of Shabbos. 
This teaches us that the purpose of man in the world is to feel awe for the great holiness of Shabbos. The Talmud tractates say in tractate Shabbat, whoever observes Shabbos according to the Allah, according to the law, as it should be, even if you worship idols, like the generation of Enosh, is forgiven. Careful observance of Shabbos brings a person to complete repentance so that his sins are forgiven. So, in fact, in my book, Letters of Fire, you can get in my site, Gerson.com. As I said, the book first came by Feldheim, translator Shlomo Fuchs Oshri, translated a lot of books for, also for Arsenal, and he translated quite a few of my books, and then Tabak, the editor of Feldheim, after she passed away, one of his best editors, she edited the book, and very important, came out in many editions, and much and say it changed some people. In Hebrew, it's called the Mishon B'Shon HaKodesh. It's also in Russian. I don't know in Russian, I don't know Russian, so I don't know what it is, but I think all letters of fire in Russian and in French and Sp in Japanese. Yeah, <laughs> I asked what Japanese, what my books are doing in Japan, so I tell you an amazing story that I was teaching yeshiva in Jerusalem with Zvar Yerushalayim. Yeshiva for Barovitz, Yeshiva also for Barovitz, so it's interesting. Yeshiva, also a lot of them are people from abroad, and I used to give lectures there every week, and people came from outside. So one of the people who came was a Japanese fellow. He sat on the, on the table with a tape recorder. Yeah, he listened and he came. There each lecture, after I think two, three months, yeah, he said to me, yeah, Rabbi Gleroson, yeah, uh, can I translate your book to, uh, to Japanese? I said, no, yeah, good. But, but, but Japanese, but Japanese <laughs> no Hebrew. But, and I said, yeah, in fact, it is known that the, in Japan there is a group, I think they call them lover of Hebrew, but everything. They believe in the greatness of Hebrew, they understand what really is behind Hebrew letters, you know. <laughs> And uh, this professor told me that he is a professor in university, in Tokyo University, and as he has such interest in Hebrew, so he came to learn Hebrew in Israel. So he came to the university, definitely. Okay, he came to university to learn Hebrew, he knew some Hebrew, and then he came to my lecture, said, Rabbi, no, no, this is really Hebrew, <laughs> not what the teacher of course. You still you realize what I told you just now, how much is behind every word, what is the letter represents, and it's so much. You can see my book. Um, the Hebrew book, which is really my story, so many people in English, Letters of Fire, and many of my books here. You can see in the internet when you put letters and books, I think about 30, 35 books in different languages, all based on this idea. So this is what he said to me. So as there are really such interest in Japan for learning Hebrew, so I would like to translate two of your books. I think Letters so far, this book, yeah. And the book Hinduism Back to Judaism. Very interesting, I wrote a book to show that all this wisdom of the East, yeah, the wisdom, are basically connected with Judaism because according to our tradition, there is Menashev in Israel, who about 200 years ago, he made all research and he said clearly the Indian, the Brahmins, <laughs> you know, the, the highest the group in India called Brahmins, they were the same, that they came from Abraham, yeah? So, so he asked permission, said, okay, translated, very good. He's written that in future, the prophet Sephania said in the third chapter, on the eighth or ninth, I think, uh, verse, that in future, yeah, the whole world will speak clear language with the Hebrew, and they will call the name of God, because through 
seeing the Hebrew language, what is behind, they understand there is a God who really created the word with Hebrew letter. It is interesting if you will look into this chapter before this verse about the Holy Tongue, there is a description about Gog and Magog, a terrible war which is going to happen. It's a verse which has 26 verses, a verse, and all the 27 letters of the alphabet, unbelievable, with the five final, 22. And one that said, no such a verse in the, in the Bible. So what is the idea? So in fact, uh, there are more chases in the book that clearly indicating that this war of Gogo Magog, you know, all these events, disasters, before this in recent about disaster of hurricanes and this, the verse before, and all these situations will bring people to realize the Hebrew letters, because the Hebrew letters clearly shows and explains all these phenomena. So, if you want to really already know to before, you have my books, that so far, many other books of mine, all of them deal with the Hebrew language, all the books really, all the titles, Science and Kabbalah, <laughs> Torah and Kabbalah, yeah, and uh, Music and Kabbalah, Astrology, all the things, Torah, Light and Healing, so all the books shows really the basis of creation connected with Hebrew letters. So have a good Shabbos.